Hi, I'm Daniel, and once again discussing We Bear Bears. The details did decently well, and you have room to discuss some of the show's best episodes. Burrito is one of the first of those in a media set masterpiece of television. It misled itself to see a mythical episode, but has a very really powerful ending that rephrased to the whole episode and carried in a different light. It is a very beautiful and interesting episode that is worth a video analysing it, so that's what I'm going to do. I don't have anything else to say in the opening, so I'm just going to get to the video. This episode starts with an intense cut of a baby bear stuck in a tree. This creates intrigue and feels like the opening of the show were cold opens before the intro. Baby bear birds doesn't do this and have the intro play before anything. But this sets up a start to feel different. After it cuts to a more regular start with happy music and the birds looking for a restaurant with Panda searching where his phone's map. They found out about burrito eating contest for three meals and Grizz accepts and gets through them quickly until they asked one. The staff needs extra work and the whole team to make this big burrito, but when it's with Grizz, he just hugs it. It's a form of comfort and he doesn't want to eat it. He runs away with it and adds it to the staff. At the cinema, the worker classifies the outside burrito as a fourth person, which eventually leads to Grizz starting to treat the burrito as a person. This is shown over a montage with the song I think they're going to be chung. I like how it sounds. Whenever I seem to mention a song, it always gets stuck in my head when I'm trying to record the video. This episode missed yet to be a wacky story where Grizz makes friends with food. It seemed it, but there's something more about this feeling. Grizz is getting too attached even after a week, he still has it close to him. This worries Panda and Ice Bear, and they yuck on many people when close to food, which causes them to have to interfere. This is where the tone shifts to being dark as they try to run away with the burrito. It's quite dramatic with the dark outside weather. Grizz can't even form proper sentences it's gone that far. The burrito ends up exploding, which Panda tries to handle and make better, but end up having fun just lying down. This is a nice ending to a pretty good episode, but it's not over. Remember the opening scene? A lot of the audience probably has forgotten that I'm into a different story, but that comes back in a way to make a very, very good episode into a masterpiece. This ending uses the song I Have Time, which is a very really powerful piece of music. It sounds haunting like a distressed child and it's very really emotional, especially when you know the context of what it means. A young Grizz was stuck up in a tree and gets saved by a fireman. He hooked against this sieve, which is sulfur, and considering how small Grizz used to be, it has the same size comparison to the burrito. He reveals the Grizz's attachment style and how he remained grabbed onto it, with the comments that were hope he doesn't get attached. He must have busy yet go eventually, but he didn't yet go with the idea and using his comfort. I don't even think Grizz knows why he got so attached to the burrito, but his brain subconsciously did. It just remembered being in this rest and then hugging a yard silver thing made him feel better. He remembered needing a comfort object. There's something so perfect about using past trauma to better explain the events of this episode, with the burrito being used for unhealthy coping mechanism. It doesn't try to put anything with, oh, what if the burrito was a yard, kids kill you not. It's just what Gris is projecting onto it. What does this mean for Gris and his character? When I first watched the show when younger, I wasn't very into Gris. He had his funny moments and never held back the show, but he didn't really appeal to me as much as Panda and Ice Bear did. I am used to like him to the main cast, both then and now. I don't quite rate him as I can the others. However, now my pain has changed and I love Grizz. Him and Ice Bear are tied for best fair. His optimism and want to fit in is hard not to find wholesome and enjoy. Even when some of his temps do feel a bit pushy. Grizz also has the off more term than seen at first glance. With where his bond for friends and fitting in comes from. I already went over his past and family troubles in my previous video, but this episode is mostly in the present. It shows Grizz's only proper method of expressing his past trauma by projecting it onto his object. He is more someone to be out of the past and focus more on the present. But he can't ignore what the past did to him. The burrito brings him comfort and goes on a healthy extreme where he feels he needs it. But a bit after the explodes, he yaps and realizes he didn't need it. Ayo has changed since then, he met two brothers who care for him and he cares for them. He doesn't need the burrito or any other object to make through life like he did as a baby. That's why the former scene which we're ending to the present story is so great, revealed by this flashback. This could have been a generic 20s animator show with character offending food, but it's so much more. The atmosphere of this episode is very really haunting and emotional, and it represents what the burrito means and so much more. This episode is also funny and has two great songs. I have time especially as was really depressing, and it shows a strong bond of these characters I love. The simplicity of the show, especially season 1, is brilliant, and that's shown well with this episode. 
In conclusion, I hope you enjoyed this video about We Were Bear's best episode. Hurricane How is cute, and I want to make a video about that someday. But I still don't exactly understand anything it means, just how it feels. I don't know if they're covering any other videos until that. But if this does well, I may try and find another episode to review. If you enjoyed this video, consider pressing subscribe and watching more of my OBR Bears videos. The end.